Hey everybody, Brian here. So I want to show you this car. This is kind of cool key actually. Um, so it's a Kia Sportage. It's what's called a K2. Anyway, we'll go for a drive and we'll run through the features on the car. On the inside and the outside of the car. And then by the end of the video, you'll have a good idea of what the car is like before you come to look at it. So I suppose before we get going, if you were a normal person getting into your car, this is what you would need to do. So electrics are windows and mirrors over here, central locking. They are folding wing mirrors that go in and out. But you can do that from the key, they're quite easy to use. Right, if I want to get out of a space, what I would do is go for reverse. I got parking sensors which make noise. So it gives me a little uh, kind of diagram over here. And then over here then I've got a reverse camera and it's directional as well, like a lot of cars too. Second thing is then my windscreen needs to be cleared. So what I will do in that case is I got dual zone climate control, you see? So over here, it's telling me what my driver side is doing what my passenger side is doing, speed up or slow down the fan, front windscreen demister, rear disc, uh, windscreen demister, sorry, rear screen demister even. Uh, so we'll leave that on the front there for a minute. And also down here then, when the weather starts to get colder, you will have uh, triple stage heated seats. And weirdly enough, actually, they, uh, we do the Tucson, which is a very similar car, and they don't get rear heated seats. These get heated seats in the rear as well. Before you go driving then, you got a rake reach steering wheel so it goes in and out and up and down and the seat that i'm in then is like adjustable up and down and it has lumbar support for the lower back part uh, as well so if you want a hard seat if you got a bad back that's quite useful these are a 1.6 turbo diesel engine so they're 115 horsepower uh this uh, the previous model was 1.7 up as far as 18 and then 19 they became 1.6 i think the 1.6 are marginally more fuel efficient by about 10 percent than their counter it's our predecessors even. Anyway, you should be expecting around six-ish litres per 100 kilometres realistically. And they drive nice, you know, it's a nice high driving position. The car, this particular example, the steering, the brakes, the clutch, everything feels really nice on this car. Um, and in terms of the way these cabins are laid out, they're quite intuitive. So when you're looking around, everything's pretty straightforward. I like the fact that you have knobs for the radio and the heating, easy to use, nice big dials, nice big screen and just nice big mirrors and stuff. Good visibility all the way around when you're driving. To be fair, they are a nice driving car. One thing actually on this car is this is 2019. So in 2019, they appear to have had a facelift uh, just around here where you see the little bits of chrome. Anyway, we'll look at it in more kind of detail over here. Um, so I always like the headlights on these uh, cars. I know someone's gonna laugh. They kind of remind me of some sort of Porsche. Not a Kia designs actually. They do remind me of some kind of Porsche things. Anyway, look, I know that's a ridiculous comparison, but, um, what I'm trying to say to you suppose is it's quite stylish. Nice big grille that you see in all keys. Uh, the facelifts seem to get this piece of chrome that was down along here and the front bumper looked to be a little bit more aggressive looking. The wheels are also a nice diamond cut finish. So they are, see the way they're kind of shiny and reflective. Look really well under the sun or under artificial light at nighttime. And they're a 17 inch wheel, um, but they actually look like a reasonable size and 17 inch tires are pretty decent when it comes to maintenance costs. Maybe it's just the way the sun is this morning, but I actually think the white looks really, really nice on this facelifted model. And one thing I quite like on the back of these, actually, the taillights. Uh, so on the facelifted models, they changed the taillights where they gain these nice LEDs along the back. So when you're driving behind them at night, they're really nice looking. Uh, so they are just kind of modern, very, very cool center section. And then the big outline all the way around. It looks very, very nice. Again, uh, because the 19 facelift model, this piece of chrome and the bumper, uh, made it just to look a little bit more upmarket. Uh, and then after that, on this spec, there will be chrome to match the chrome in the front and the rear. Chrome around the windows, tinted glass along the rear, and there's nice brushed aluminium roof rails front to back, which looks nice. Make the car look higher, but you can also put roof bars then from left to right, which is useful for a roof box. In the car, oops, just like the Hyundai's, they have that really annoying function that I always turn off, which is basically, actually look, some people are going to think it's brilliant, it's an auto lock, means when you get out of the car, only the driver's door opens, which means everything else is secure, it wrecks my head, but loads of people reckon it's very useful, so obviously I'm wrong. Um, so the boot is good on sport hashes, underneath then there will be a spare wheel, and they also have the functionality where you can move the parcel shelf along through here, and it allows you then to recline the rear seats by lifting this, and you see the way, it doesn't look like a massive mount, but you can bring both seats back by about that much. But as an adult, that is way more comfortable to sit in in the back. While we're on the topic of space, so sitting back, 
it's way nicer than what you get in a normal car and i'm going to let it forward here a bit uh, obviously i'm going to have three three point safety belts there is an armrest into the center with some drinks holders isofix over here uh, what was all just clever and we never got on the tucson's was these had a, a usb in the back 12 volt here ventilation in through here like what i talked about already uh, you will have heated seats in the rear as well electrics for windows nice you know piano black around here but everything else is dark and hard wearing which is really what you want in a family car small things that people never use coat hooks i don't think i've ever seen anyone hanging their coats from a car like that and so many people have them and they never use it right height just the seat we talked about just the steering we talked about fine over through here brightness of the dash this is lane keep assist so um on these actually it's a bit nicer than the newer ones the newer ones it's always there so you have to uh I turn it off quite a lot, but it is a useful feature. It stops you from leaving the lane and you can have it on or off. But every time you start a new car, it's always on. Uh, on these, it gives you the autonomy to decide, do I want it on or do I want it off? And you can just leave it at that. It's great uh, because you don't have to flick it every time you start. Cruise controls in through here. Uh, wipers are automated. And what's nice on these, it actually tells you, see, rather than having to worry about where the stock is, it tells you what it's doing and the same over here. When you're flicking through the lights you know exactly what you're at and they have auto dip so they'll push forward if you meet traffic they'll dip themselves you go into a country area they go full by themselves and after that then this is electrochromatic so if someone drives up behind you at night time it darkens itself we've seen already the reverse camera this will also have android auto apple carplay so you can use things like google maps and all that stuff the radio is pretty straightforward i have to say very user friendly very straightforward menus are pretty easy to use screen is nice and straightforward and then you have the hard buttons over here for shortcuts rather than using that you can just go in the more traditional way and they have volume knobs uh, which rather than dabbing screens i think is brilliant uh, this car has one owner and it's originally come from the north of ireland um we would have imported tons of cars from the north of ireland and england over the years but they were always one owner from you um, they always had full service history of uh, same source doing it for years proper stuff so this one's got a real nice kia service history all the way anyway um on a car like that we can do scrappage or we can trade in your car we can do personalized uh, payment plans um, so uh, and this one's got a long warranty as well so it's 2019 which means it has a warranty that runs till 2026 if there's information on you want on the car 086-843-1945 brian is my name uh give us a shout call text whatsapp i'll be happy to go to anything with you hopefully the car is nice or sorry hopefully the car is nice Hopefully the cars of interest and thanks a million for watching.